Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Salt and this movie came out in 2010 and stars Angelina Jolie and this movie was just on Netflix and I just decided, you know what, I might as well just check it out and I thought this movie was bad. I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> And uh, the reason why it doesn't really work for me is because I don't really find the story to be all that interesting for most of the movie. Like, it works at, like, a couple points towards the beginning. And I was kind of into it somewhat for the first 20 minutes. But after that point, uh, we kind of get sucked into the action. And once we get into the action in the movie, it's like a lot of... Uh, close-ups and just quick cutting and it uh, makes it really confusing as to like what's going on and I can't see what uh, the action is and <laughs> I'm not like into it because I don't care about the characters and also it kind of feels tame like uh, characters die and uh, you barely see any blood in the movie like the most uh, blood you see is like at the end of the movie Whereas most of the movie, there isn't any blood at all. And if I'm going to say anything that I liked about the movie, then I would say Angelina Jolie was okay at points. I'm not saying she was like consistently great throughout the entire film, but uh, there were times when uh, she was trying. Whereas like everyone else, it was just either they didn't really take the movie seriously and it was just seen as like one big joke and... They just didn't care whatsoever, and that's the impression I got from a lot of people making the movie, is that it just felt like kind of a joke. None of the characters in this movie are interesting. Like, you get a little bit of intrigue because the movie doesn't really give you any answers until the end of the movie. And over the course of the film you start to learn a few things about our main character because they give you flashbacks to her past but all in all it doesn't really add a whole lot to her character it's like oh things happened and we're just now learning about it and uh it's not that interesting and every single twist and turn in this movie is just completely predictable and i saw it coming a mile away and to there were just no surprises for me while I was watching the movie. The music was terrible and it was just generic action movie music and it was just distracting and it didn't work for me at all. There were also some impossible stunts that like in any movie that uh, was not uh, an action movie where our main character is supposed to be like invincible. Like... She would have definitely died at uh, a few points. Like, there's a point where she jumps off a moving train that's going, like, I don't know, 50 miles an hour. She just jumps off and the, she doesn't even have a scratch on her. And she's just perfectly fine, just runs it to her destination. And I'm like, really? <laughs> We're doing that? <laughs> and there's a lot of stupid things in this movie that just don't make any sense and it's just whatever the script wants to do and nothing needs to make sense because it's supposed to be an action movie and you're not supposed to think about it only you are because the plot of the movie is slowly being revealed over the course of the film and it's asking you to pay attention but the problem is when you do start paying attention then you start to realize that nothing in the movie makes any sense and in the end uh, this movie was just a complete failure that uh, didn't really work uh, for me at all. Angelina Jolie, she was trying. She's the best part of the movie. I'll give her that. But everything else uh, doesn't work about it. It doesn't work as an action movie. It doesn't work as a mystery suspense thriller. And the action is uh, poorly put together. Terrible editing, close shots. Can't tell what's going on. And the story, it's boring and just what you would expect and you can pretty much predict where this movie is going to go within like I don't know halfway through it you know exactly what's going to happen for sure if you haven't figured it out already by then and overall this movie was just a big snooze for me I was kind of bored while watching it and I will never be watching this movie ever again so 
With all that being said, I'm going to give Salt a 3 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of Salt and my social media links, they will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Knives Out. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.